Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about brands I totally recommend and would, uh, you know, say you need at least one palette of each of these. Five brands, so if you want to see which brands I absolutely love and would recommend to you and that are worth trying, then keep on watching. <music> The first brand worth trying and I mean if you know me, if you know my lives maybe from Instagram and uh, you know like a few um, like posts from me then you know I absolutely am obsessed with Kaleidos and uh, Kaleidos makeup. I do have um, like a few things, not even like talking about other things. Like let's let's start. Let's start. Let's let's try not to break anything. Like like I said, I have a lot. Let's try and start. I was on the search of a green palette and at the moment or at that time, like two years ago, I couldn't find a green palette for the life of me. I wanted to go into greens, I wanted to go into colors, but like I said, greens and I don't want it to buy like a whole lot of a palette, I just wanted to have a green palette. And then I saw Angishka's video and she's also here on YouTube, I will link it down below. I mean, I'm pretty sure you know her, she is from Sweden and she talked about Kaleidos and she showed in one of her clutter these like um, six pen palettes and they are stunning. I just grabbed one. Please have in mind, I do have kitten here and um, they are sleeping at the moment, so I couldn't grab like every single palette. I am so sorry, but they open like this. You have a mirror and then you have like a six pan range of colors. And I feel, first of all, the packaging stunning, 20 out of 10. I absolutely love these and I was like, okay, you never heard of Kaleidos, but she absolutely loved them. And I was like, okay, now well, let's see. So I was like, okay, these were, because it's an indie brand, I think like, I thought that they would like cost an arm and a leg. They don't, they don't. Like these six pens were like $24, if I'm not mistaken. And I will go into detail about that. I ordered three of them because they are bundle deals, um, which I love. I never paid customs and they ship from China because this is a Chinese brand to Germany. And I got the first three palettes and I was stunned. I was stunned and the next time I ordered like Six months later, I ordered um, the newest palettes, which were one of these, the Sashimi Shitty and the Luna Lavender, like a purple and a, like a salmon color shade, like a peachy, like you, you saw this, you saw this, this uh, palette. And I, I was still absolutely in love. Like these colors are, first of all, they don't, like, uh, this is not a boring palette. You can definitely see like this one is, a stunning shade this one like they are not like boring at all I absolutely love these and I feel like that like look at these it's just gorgeous 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 and from that point on I just fell in love with Kaleidos I bought also like the uh, flower punk um, palette which you can like use uh, again like look at the color theme it's not boring at all of course i bought my favorite of all time palette which is the engeshka uh, and kaleidos collaboration this one is sadly discontinued but i mean i absolutely loved it and of course i also bought the newest palettes which are these uh, from the um, smoking nostalgia vault these are four pen palettes so if you don't like like a lot of color um, they have now a brown quad and a black quad like I said I do own both of these and then of course because why not I also bought the cloud lab lip clays which is their attempt of the uh, liquid lipsticks they are super comfortable I'm wearing the shade Terra they're super comfortable I do own all 20 shades we don't have to talk about that. And then uh, also the newest edition which came out with the Smoky Nostalgia collection are single blushes. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous blushes. I'm wearing the shade, which one is it? I don't know. By the way, they don't have, because of the packaging, they don't have stickers, so I'm not sure. I will link it down below. Like, look at this, stunning. 
I have to say, I will, by the way, in Gishka's channel down below because this is not the first brand she hooked me on. Absolutely love it. The quality is amazing. I do want to try the highlighters as well. They also have glosses. I think the formula from the eyeshadows is getting better and better. Totally and highly recommend. Okay, let's talk about the second brand. I think you should definitely should give it a try. And again, this one is one in Geshka, like um, put her finger on, I will say. She recommended, well, not the brand, but she did a review and it's a Swedish brand and it's Oon's Eye. You definitely can see I do have a few products, just so you know. Um, but the, let's, let's start from the beginning. I bought um, the Giant Wolf and the uh, Blue Hummingbird palette. These were collaborations. These are not available anymore, but I mean, they're just gorgeous. Like, look at this. This were with Annette's Makeup Corner. And then the other one, the humming door, with the blue hummingbird, is with the Fancy Face. There was this third collaboration, but it was quite neutral. So, once I make neutral palettes as well, I'm a little bit more drawn to the colorful ones. But, I mean, like, look at this. It's stunning. And, by the way, these have all the multi-chrome in them. And I think they were on the 30 bucks I think then of course again I fell onto the drain to love the collaborations with Angeshka and Brands and this one is her Hela palette which of course I owned like I mean stunning and also greens pinks multichrome stunning and the uh, most recent palette which I also wear today is the Soul Monet 2 palette which <sighs> amazing like look at this look at these it's just you just could stare at that also i am wearing at the moment the highlighter this one is in warm shine sunshine this one is also multi-chrome just so you know they do have blushes as well they do have lip creams and so on and so on and i also have an eyeliner which i do like a lot so um also a brush just so you know so i totally would recommend them i was not let down by any of this any of the palettes like the highlighter i mean stunning and like i said i'm wearing both of these today and it's just it's just i i couldn't recommend it more a brand I would definitely tr think you should try and that it's worth trying is Beauty Bay. Like, oh, Beauty Bay. I bought this rainbow palette. This is the original I'm Bright Matte rainbow palette. It's an all matte palette. I bought this sucker and you can definitely see I use this one quite a bit. I bought this sucker because I was getting into color. I wanted to have colors, but I don't want it to have like, like buy like 20 different palettes. I wanted to have one rainbow palette that I can use over and over again, that I can use for every single look. And I feel like if you are starting with color, I think a rainbow palette is a great start because like I said, this one has two colors, all matte, so you can use them with every shimmer under the sun. And that is definitely what I wanted to do. This one is still available, has a different packaging, and there is a second, um, uh, like a 2.0 in the shop as well on Beauty Bay's side. And I have to say, I ordered again and again, and I do like the quality. This one, though, I have to say, is a little bit of the older quality. They did change up the quality a little bit. The most recent one, except the 2.0, are these like smaller palettes. They have a 9 pan, a 15 pan, and a 42 pan of these. Like these are the Earthly and Berry palette. They are stunning. Like, look at this. 16 pan? Yeah, it's 16 pan. You have mattes and shimmers. I do like the shimmer formula as well. I do have also the Age of Opulence, the Wilderness palette. Um, I I couldn't be happier, to be honest. Like, look at these. Like I said, there is a 9 pen version and a 42 pen version. I think not of this palette in particular, but of the green. And there's also like a blue and purple one. I think for a beginner, these ones are really, really cheap. They have an amazing formula for that. They're not only good because of uh, because that they are cheap. I just think like I bought the big palette because I thought okay, with I think fifteen bucks which I invested in that I have forty two colors. 
you know, if it's it's if it's bad, then I I wasn't you know that sad because but. I just liked it. I just liked it and I bought and I bought and I bought again new Beauty Bay palettes and I am not disappointed at all. One palette that surprised me and one brand also that surprised me this year was Sigma Beauty. I can't even tell you. I I was so surprised and I think that they changed up the formula. I um order like I ordered this palette and this is the new mod palette and uh, I will link the video I um, have with it down below and also in the eye. Like, look at this. It is just stunning. The quality is amazing. I also tried the blush and highlighter duo. Amazing as well. So if you thought Sigma would like die down, like other brands I feel like don't have anything new. They don't have anything great. Sigma Beauty is here for you. And the last brand I think you should try and that I really recommend is Glamlight. I ordered this one from uh, Netherlands, from the Netherlands. Um, this is the Michaela palette. This is of course a collaboration with Michaela from TikTok. And this is the palette. I absolutely fell in love with the color scheme. I do have to say, I love the formula. And I definitely will try other palettes from these this is the only one i have first of all packaging wise i mean i feel like lemlight has a really really good packaging they do have a really nice formula and i feel like for that reason even if you're in europe there are several um retailers that have glam light like i said i will you uh, i will link the boozy shop which is the shop i had my palettes from but they also have like newest palettes um as well from glam light i would definitely recommend glam light it's a beautiful formula definitely color scheme wise it's something different something new and yeah i absolutely love it i have to say and i will recommend this one these are the five brands I would recommend and that are really worth trying. I did also then, uh, done a thing where I said that I won't try uh, specific brands because it's not worth trying. They are doing all the thing again and again and again and again. And I feel like for this brand, they are stunning. I just can't tell a difference. It's like amazing. They do something new and unexpected. They better the formula. They bring out something new and fun and colorful. You know, they have a, an amazing formula that is uh, really affordable. And I mean, I can't sell you that none of these brands are worth trying. I can't. They are amazing. I would highly recommend any of these. If you like said you're more on a budget, maybe try Beauty Bay. Kaleidos, like I said, is also not so bad from pricing as well as Odin's Eye also. Like a little bit more higher end is Sigma and uh, Glam Life. But I feel like if you try any of these brands, do it. Do it. I think you won't, um, you know, regret it. Thanks for sticking with me through that. I absolutely in love with every single product that I tried from these brands. And I'm so, so happy if they release something new. Like from Kaleidos and Uden's Eye. I don't know what it is, but I'm like sitting here and waiting. And to be honest, I'm also really excited for Sigma that they change up the formula. Make it really, really nice and great formula. And I am excited to play with these. What are your f like brands you would recommend to to a stranger on the street if they say okay give me a, a brand i wouldn't uh, regret if i buy it from leave it down in the comments below if you aren't already please subscribe to my channel i upload three times a week and if you want to see new and fun content also content also subscribe to my instagram and tiktok i also upload like a few looks uh, that you don't see here and um yeah i wish you a beautiful week and we see us in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.